Hello everyone, welcome to Center Cross Ministries TV. This is where you get your monthly updates for Center Cross Ministries. So let's go back about the last two months. What's been going on? We went to uh, Michigan in June, the end of June. We hosted VBS there at one of the churches that we went to last year. Uh, we were there for all five days of VBS and it went really well. There was about I'd say 15 kids or so most of the week. Towards the end of the week they started bringing friends and uh, some were unsure of their salvation but uh, we were able to talk to them and um, they walked away knowing for sure they were saved. We got a very good report when we got back. The pastor had emailed and said that there has been a lot of visitors coming since we had left and so that was definitely a praise. Praise to God. The outreach event we did in, um, I believe it was Petoskey, uh, that went that went very well. I performed a few songs. We did some puppets, some skits. The kids were definitely drawn to the puppets and skits. My uh, the couple songs that I did were definitely um, definitely touching to some people there. There was a a girl there that a girl there that had been going through some things similar similar to my testimony. So she was. Uh, she was definitely touched about, you know, some of the stuff I was talking about. So we planted seeds all along, and uh, we definitely seen a difference in Michigan this year than we did last year. Everything looked a lot better. We did a lot of prayer walking last year, and God answered those prayers. And then I got back from Michigan, headed to Gatlinburg with Southside's youth. Uh, we were there for about a week at at a Baptist-type camp, convention center, I guess it was. Um, we did some work there, we did some painting, we did some work on the paintball field, we got all of that done. The youth did an incredible job, their work ethic was very, very, very good. So we got all that done and then um, there was two salvation decisions. That was awesome. During some uh, praise and worship time we had that week, there was two salvation decisions and we got to praise God for that. He was definitely at work on that, on that trip. When we got back from that trip, We've seen the youth just get stronger and stronger and stronger. And every time I go in there on Wednesday nights, I still see them just solid. They're just solid. And it's awesome how God's working at Southside right now. And uh, we also went on a missions trip in Kansas City. We just got back from that not too long ago. That was good. There was three events that we went to. One of them got rained out, but two of them um, did not get rained out. One was inside. Um, the one that was outside that didn't get rained out, it went pretty good. Uh, we did our thing. We did the ministering. Um, there was no professions of faith. But again, we don't know how God handled them afterwards. The other event that we did was inside UMKC, the University of Missouri, Kansas City. It was inside a dorm in the cafeteria area. We uh, all bunch of ministers were there performing. It was like an open mic. Everyone got up there and did their thing. Did like one song. Um, we did a lot of ministering there. We don't know who was saved and who wasn't. There was no professions of faith publicly, but I do believe that there was a lot of people in there that were unsaved that were that attended the college. So they heard the gospel. We planted the seeds, and hopefully someone else comes along and waters them. So when we got back from Kansas City, I started in. I started on this tour called the Outside the Walls tour. You you'll probably see it on my website under the events. We are working on that still. We got about four or five events going. We're going to be going all the way through the month of October, and then we're going to stop for November and December because of the holidays. So we're booking those shows right now. So if you want to get involved, just email us or call us. You can definitely get involved so several different ways. You can come out to the events and help. Um, you can. I need people to pull my trailer. I don't have a truck right now. If you have a truck with a hitch on it, um, I can use you to pull my trailer. If you'd like to do that. Prayers. We always solicit prayer. Just prayer. Just pray for our uh, our ministry and that God's at work. And uh, if you want to, if you want to serve, we would be glad to have you out to serve. Also, if you would like to support Center Cross financially, um, if you do it, if you do attend Southside Baptist Church, all you have to do is drop your donation into the offering plate. Make it out to Center Cross Ministries. Um, we are a non for profit or um, incorporation now, so you will get your tax deductions for that. 
Um, if you do not attend Southside Baptist Church, you can mail your donation to Southside Baptist Church. It's 209 Marshutes Avenue, Huntsville, Alabama. Um, so, those are just some ways you can get involved. And uh, we hope that you do get involved because uh, we're, we're definitely moving forward. God's blessing the ministry. And we just, we just want to keep going hard for God. So, that's all I've got right now. Um, that's all that's been going on in the past couple months. We will send out emails and let you know in the future about the uh, video updates. And you can go to centercrossonline.com and, and view the video updates.